So bands have a certain vibe, and this attracts fans uh, also with a certain vibe. And if my psychology degree has taught me anything, it's that I can psychoanalyze anybody. So a while back, I asked you guys to share your favorite musicians, share your favorite bands, and I would tell you some of the assumptions I make of fans of those people. And so here is just that. Keep in mind, this is all lighthearted and fun, okay? You can make fun of my Taylor Swift reference on my wall as much as you want. At least sitting here in a 21 Pilot shirt, like the call is coming from inside the house. I don't think any of them are mean, but that in mind, this is a lighthearted video. And if you don't like what I say, you should have picked someone cooler, I don't know. So here are some of the assumptions and I guess you could say stereotypes, but I feel like that's kind of like harmful, negative word. Some of the first impressions that I get of people who are fans of whoever you submitted. So first one up, Olivia Rodrigo. Now I feel like Olivia is like the pop punk gateway drug. <gasps> and listen, before you guys all get your panties in a twist in the comments, no, I'm not saying that Olivia Rodrigo is pop punk chill. I just feel like she's on that edge, you know what I mean? Like she's not there yet, but she's just, she's teetering. And I feel like her fans are the same way. I feel like if you like Olivia, you would like pop punk. You're just not there yet. You need to take that final little, uh, like just jump off the cliff and land into punk. You'll like it, I promise. That being said, I don't mean this as a diss, but I feel like if you like Olivia Rodrigo, you don't really go searching for music. Not like some little weird, music nerd hobbit that's like trying to find the most obscure bands ever. I feel like Olivia Rodrigo fans are very much into stan culture, like you like mainstream, you like pop culture, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I also love standing random people on Twitter, but may I suggest just going a little further, just going a little further on the punk end. I think you'll like what you'll hear. Next one up, Muse. Now listen, I don't really know much about you people. I do know some. Uh, <laughs> might be a weird assumption, but when I think of Muse, I think of Dan and Phil. So maybe you were into Dan and Phil. I'm not sure. High pitched girly voice like Matt Bellamy. Yeah! But I feel like Muse fans are very low key. Like, I don't really see you in drama. I don't really see you fighting. I think that you just like Muse, and that's totally chill. And you have great taste. I feel like you guys are just like under the radar. Like you don't get involved, you just listen to music. And that's kind of beautiful and underappreciated. But so good job, Muse fans. The warning, okay. See, I think you guys are, are trying to manipulate me here. Because there were a few of you that was afraid that I would be mean and say something rude. So I feel like some of you guys played it safe and picked someone that I probably like. This person certainly played it safe with an all-female band that also has a female drummer. I'm trying to appeal to my woman rock star lifestyle. And you know what, I'll, I'll give you a pass. I feel like if you like the warning, you're very cool and you appreciate women rock stars. And that's lovely. Keep supporting women in rock, specifically me. Ghost. Okay, so I like Ghost and the biggest assumption I have with this band is that, and I mean this with peace and love, but the fans give like theater kid energy. <laughs> Like, you very much, if you weren't in theater, you, you like theatrics, right? And you people kind of dip your toes in the stand culture, like I see the memes. But you guys, for the most part, for what I see, are very peaceful, so thank you for that. You guys just kind of post funny, silly memes, and that's about it. But because you like theatrics, and, and because you kind of like a story, I feel like, that I feel like when you see other bands, they feel lesser than. Like, you go and it's just like people on stage and you're like, where's the story? I also feel like Ghost fans are kind of artsy. I feel like you're into like an art. Mainly probably performance art, because Ghost is just so, there's so much more than a band. I feel like you like concept albums, you like bands with lore, hence why you like Ghost. Or you just got into Ghost because that one song went popular on TikTok. Y either way. Corn. <laughs> Dad energy. In the best way. In the best way. In the best way, you are a literal middle-aged father, and I love that. Hey, I'm just as guilty, okay? I also am a little bit into that dad rock. Divorce dad rock. That's me, baby. Now, the new metal elitist out there, don't let anyone have fun. But we have fun here, so you can like corn. Sleep token. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I don't mean this with any negative connotation, okay? But I've, it, it's giving TikTok. Like, I feel like you like TikTok. Like, you were scrolling that app 
all the time and you're saving those little edits onto your phone and you're sitting in your bed kicking your little heels and fangirling and you know what live your fangirl life like i don't want to look into your camera roll or your tiktok favorites but i respect what you do you probably want or have made vessels mask might have a little thing for masks if you know what i mean but like that's that's something different entirely okay so one of my friends submitted uh a few of them they like hosier aurora tears for fears okay that is the most beautiful combination i have ever seen in my life it's giving very cottage core it's giving like soft vibes like you are a wonderful person to be around and you are because i know who said this on the opposite scale of that i had another friend that submitted melanie martinez and michael jackson uh, i know this person they listen to those two artists almost exclusively if not entirely exclusively this person okay has a playlist that i am forced to listen to every time that i'm in a car with them that's called eminem and it stands for melody martinez and michael jackson because that is the the only thing that she listens to and it radiates total opposite vibes of the person i was talking about previously because this is nightmare fuel just why why those two and why do you only listen to those two it's kind of terrifying that being said, Melanie Martinez fans are always the weird art kids, and the person who said this is definitely a weird art kid, but I love you. Avril Lavigne. Okay, you guys, I think, are what the Olivia Rodrigo fans want to be. Or them at their full potential. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you were very much into the internet in the early 2000s. Like, you were on Tumblr, perhaps on MySpace if you're that old. I feel like if you're a girl who likes Avril Lavigne, that you wanted to look like those, like, emo girls on tumblr that everyone wanted to be but you especially and you know what you do you boo mindless self-indulgence it's giving <laughs> like 2000s emo rave culture it kind of scares me i feel like these people go to the back of spencer's with no fear and you scare me a little bit uh you scare me just a little tiny bit but you know smashing pumpkins okay, again like corn you're giving dad rock a little bit like i feel like you have a dad or an uncle or a cool aunt that just got you listening to Smashing Pumpkins and there was just somebody in your family that influenced your music taste. Again, I'm guilty of that also. That being said, you're a little cooler than dad rock enjoyers, okay? I feel like if you like Smashing Pumpkins, there's just something about your aura that's just cool. Like you just, you just drip vibes. They, they always dress cool, they always act cool, like Smashing Pumpkin fans are just cool. George Harrison. Okay, I feel like if you like George Harrison or just the Beatles in general, you have an appreciation for music history. Like you like knowing not only the music, but the story behind the music. You probably have like infinite knowledge about random factoids about any rock star ever. I also feel like these same people that are really into music history are also musicians because no one in their right mind uh, looks into this enough unless you're also a musician and that could also be low-key i feel like george harrison and beetle enjoyers can also be just you know casual guitar players or something but i feel like it goes further like i feel like these people are like actually musicians and it's not just a hobby but you know it could be and i, I feel like this goes further and I feel like you're also a musician who likes retro things. Okay, because I'm not gonna lie, George Harrison's a little old, okay? I'm not, no disrespect, but it is a little bit of an older artist. I can't say anything, because right across my room, I'm staring at a rumors vinyl, okay? That's just how it is. And because of our similarity, I see you. You like retro things. I'm gonna say you probably vinyl collect, probably in the cassettes. That's just a vibe. Tenacious D, um, wonderful vibes, immaculate vibe. You are someone who has a great sense of humor. Um, if you like Jack Black, you're obviously someone that I want to associate with. Great taste, my friend, great taste. Last, but certainly not least, I got so many, so many uh, submissions for, of course, you know how it'd be on this channel, 21 pilots, 21 pilots. Just can't escape 21 pilots. I just keep crawling back to those two boys from Ohio. Just so many pilots. So many clickies, and it makes sense, you know? It just makes sense, I attract clickies because I am one. MTV's biggest, apparently. I speak from experience because I am you, but if you like 21 Pilots, you are the weird kid, or you were the weird kid. The evolution is like, if you're a clicky, 
you were the weird kid in middle school that no one really understood. Again, bringing up Dan and Phil, you probably liked Dan and Phil. You were probably very much into the YouTubers of that time. And everyone was probably like, if that's kind of weird, you just kept doing you. And then that weird kid grew up. And then now they're like a super cool, quirky adult. That's the thing, guys. If you give weird kids a chance, they kind of straighten up and then they get cool. Not only were you the weird kid, but you were probably into some form of art. Now this can be a lot of things, because clickies are very artistic in a lot of different ways. You could be in the music, you could have maybe tried to play ukulele or the drums to be like you know who, but I feel like there's also actually drawing and painting, and I just feel like you are talented in an art. Was I self-projecting a little bit? Maybe. Thank you so much to everyone that submitted an answer. Make sure to follow my social media in case I do these things again. I think I'm going to start running it like a college assignment. You have to submit your answers by 11.59 p.m. in MLA format where I won't accept it. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.